Hello everyone, this is Kate, back with another video. This video is going to be a Christmas card collab with Tanya the Pirate. I'm going to include a link to her video in the description for you, so you can check out the card that she made. Okay, and I already have a whole bunch of papers. I showed you everything that I'm going to use for this Christmas card. And I drew Rainbow Dash with a Micron pen that you see. And now I am filling her in using Cloud Blue. Now Rainbow Dash kind of looks like a Smurf in the beginning of this video, but as you can see as the marker dries and it lightens, by the end of this video she's going to be looking a little bit more like herself and not a little Smurf pony. But yeah, that's a good reason why you should use like a little marker cheat sheet where you just swatch all your markers down on a piece of paper and then keep that piece of paper handy so you know how all of the markers in your collection look like when they're dry. I'm outlining her right now with some blue. And now we're getting on to the fun part which is her mane and her tail. And just so you know, I did not come up with this design of Little Rainbow Dash being in a heart. This was on a Google Images when I was searching up pictures of Rainbow Dash and I thought it would be a good idea for a cute Christmas card. However, I did add the hat, so I don't know, yeah, anyway, <laughs> now I'm finishing up her mane and her tail. Oh my goodness, she just looks so cute. So happy, so cuddly and warm in her hat. I wish it was warm where I lived. It's freezing outside right now. I'm just filling in the white of the hat with some gray before going in with the red. I like to fill in like the whites and give the whites some dimension too. It just adds a little bit more. And especially if you're leaving the background white, it separates the character from the background. And I'm cutting her out using a kitchen scissors. Not being that concise, but I want to cut her out in the shape of a heart. So that's what I'm doing. We're going very, 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 very slowly. I don't know how many berries that was. <laughs> anyway, I decided that I wanted to leave a border for Rainbow Dash because, like, I don't want to cut off her ear or anything. That wouldn't be very good for a Christmas card. Here's Rainbow Dash without an ear. No, no thank you. I'm just gonna leave a border and not take that risk. Okay, so now Rainbow Dash is all cut out and she is cute as can be. And we're just gonna glue everything together now. So here's the glue and the pencil eraser that I'm going to be using on the glue. Yep, I'm going to be using a pencil eraser on the glue, but that's okay because I don't use the erasers at the end of pencils anyway. So it shouldn't really matter. You're welcome to use your fingers and I really don't know why I'm not using my fingers because craft glue is just so easy to wash off your hands if you do use your fingers. And I suppose they work a lot better than pencil erasers. All right, spreading of the glue. Okay, now we're just going to put on the red paper. And as you can see, when I'm pressing it down, there are little pieces of glue and like stuff coming out of the paper. I'm kind of wiping it off with my fingers and like, if there's too much for your fingers, you can use a kneaded eraser, like I'm using right now. Erasers! You can use them for more than pencils. But yep, yeah, like anything that's gummy or whatever. I was using an eraser because that's what I had on hand. And now we are going to be using more glue. Put on Rainbow Dash. Still using the pencil eraser. I really like this card. 
I got a whole bunch of scrapping paper like last spring at a sale at Michael's and I've just been finding so many ways that I can use scrapbooking paper and it makes it so much more personal when you make your own things and yeah. And I am just going to get a pen and write Merry Christmas on the card in a few seconds in this video. But while I am doing that, I would like to wish you all a happy holidays. Whatever holiday you spend, I hope that it is lovely and fantabulous. And until next time, guys, bye!